This is pretty special. One of, well, less than 200 GT2s, the original 993 GT2. This is an, an exceptionally rare turquoise green metallic. In fact, it's the only GT2 in the entire world in this color, and it's had just one owner from you. Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass, and yes, welcome back down to the ever incredible DK Engineering. I am here because it is time to collect my 360. If you missed the sort of first two episodes of my restoration series on my 360, essentially the car's been down here, getting a whole load of work done to it, sort of mainly cosmetic or aesthetic, but a little bit of mechanical work as well. Before we then move on to getting the paint done, and also upgrading the audio and some other little interior things that, well, we'll come back to that later. So yes, let's head down to the workshop, find the car and remind myself and you guys of all the work that's been done and why I spent quite so much money on some particularly, well, hopefully no longer, sticky buttons. Here she is, and here he is. Paul, how are you doing, mate? Good, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so Welcome much. For, well, I, I'm saying thank you for the work. I don't know yet. Has everything been all right? Everything's fine. I hope you're happy with it. We're really happy with what we've done and what we've achieved, and uh, it's looking quite sharp again. No nasty surprises? Uh, nothing massive. I can talk you through it as we go, but um, it's quite a straightforward job. Um, there's some nice improvements that have been really worthwhile. Amazing. Well, I think let, let's do that. Let's basically, well, show me around the car. We'll remind people the work that has been done, sure. but then also I'd love to just, yeah, see. I mean, I can, the wheels are already looking The insane. wheels look great. They really set, set the car off, don't they? Yeah, no, really worthwhile exercise. Um, so if we start with the interior, maybe. Um, I'm sure you'll remember the, the <clears> clock <throat> and the door seal was all worn away. So oh. straightforward job, new door seal, nice and fresh. I don't know how happy this is making me yeah, right sure. here. Well, it's, it's your introduction as you get in your car, isn't it? It's the first thing that catches your eye. Not, not anything that you'd notice until it starts to look worn. So as soon as that looks great, your eye's taken off of it. Um, and then going on, on, obviously, into the cabin, all of the sticky plastics have been done. Um, from the steering column cowling, all the switch gear, interior door handles, ashtray, um, wig mirror, uh, mirror adjustment, you know, it's, it's countless. It's one of those things that you, you don't realise what's in, well, you do, we realise what's involved, of course, but the amount of stickies that are in a car, or, or plastics, um, and of course the face vents as well. Anything that, you, you know, you go to adjust, touch, and it's, it's really annoying when, it, when you can feel them go soft. So yeah, really I'm good. definitely gonna come back to that because firstly, I'm getting so excited about how incredible they look, but I wanna talk about it because I'm, actually the video we did last time, a lot of people were sort of questioning why I was spending so much money on getting these all. Anyway, yeah, we'll come back to that later. So they're looking amazing. Uh, one of the other things, or a couple of the other things, um, the windscreen wiper was found in the bonnet. Um, so we've reshimmed it, adjusted the wiper box, so there's plenty of clearance now. So that takes away the annoying. Lots of 360 owners, have had that wiper clonk and not yeah. realised, so it's something nice. Um, if I open up the engine lid, we've really just given it a bit of a freshen up, just a bit of a tidy up, um, just to make it look nice. It's looking glorious. Yep, yeah, looks quite nice. Look at so, that. probably remember as well, um, one of the things we noticed was all the wiring boots. Um, connector boots, which are all perished and split. Yeah. So they've all been taken apart, the new boots put on, put back together again. So throw it uh, wherever we found a split one, basically. So they're all done. Um, it looks so immaculate. I almost don't want to drive the car. <laughs> it looks so clean and fresh. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. It's nice. And of course, with the you know, 360 with the clear engine lid, um, it's, it's important, it's clean and nice. I'm getting proper like new car day feels. Like I feel like I'm yeah, collecting this yeah. car for the first time. You yes. like my hand over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to have that yeah, with you. It's um, and of course with the 360, when you're driving it, you're conscious, you can see the inlets in, in the mirror. And that's one of the other things, but one of the other jobs that we did was the engine mounts were quite badly sagged. Um, not giving you a significant problem, but you're probably used to when you, occasionally when you change gear or something, you can see in the mirror the engine move, the torque as, as it goes through the engine. So it's timed it right up now, so there won't be any, as much movement as it was before, and it'll probably be smoother to drive as well. So that makes a big difference. Amazing. So that's 
so. I think we should go up in the air and you can show you what else we've done. Amazing. Yes, well, you do that. I'm going to admire these wheels. Of course, the wheels fully refurbished, which is fantastic. Uh, also, the guys are very kind to put on these new badges as well. See, it's just such a gleaming look. And I know I keep talking about and toying with the idea of replacing these with challenged darling wheels, but the more and more time I spend with this car, the more and more I like the moderner look, the classic as it left the factory look. And now that these wheels have been fully refurbed, they look stunning. So, yeah, really good to see. So we've also taken the opportunity to give all the, what we call the four corners, the suspension, the wheel arches, a good clean. Um, as we talked about previously, it's a good usable condition car. Uh, we didn't see it warranted any further suspension work. Um, so we've done what was really needed immediately as such. So um, you can see that we've, we've removed the anti-roll bars, we've had them powder coated. Um, we've replaced the drop links at the same time. Um, Several things, you know, they were rusty and also the, the boots which hold the grease in, they were split and perished, so they've been replaced. Um, all four brake hoses have been replaced as a matter of course. Um, no issues, generally. Um, one of the things that, well, the 360 and most, all modern Ferraris for that matter, um, aluminium hubs, uprights, and the threads can get tired over a period of time. Um, you tend to forget uh, the age of a 360 now, you know, so likes of me, it's, a, it's a still a modern car. <laughs> 20 years old this car, so, next year. Yeah, yeah, 20 years old, so only natural things like that will need attention. So what we do is we fit uh, new thread inserts wherever we need to, and it's a, it's a perfect uh, effective repair. So we've done a couple of those. Um, given the underside a good clean as well, not something you ever see until you climb under the car, but um, yeah, this is it makes it nice. And of course, you'll remember, mm. uh, you'll remember your under track. Oh my God, um, the difference so. in look back here. Before there was all those sort of almost like staple gun type look. There were That's thousands right. of quite, bolts yeah, and screws. Was, yeah, it was a bit um, Desert Eagle look, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, and it's a, you know, an untro most cars, you never get your eye. But a 360, you park it slightly downhill on a slope. You can see the Venturis, the, the diffuser. And you can see you can see quite a lot of it so re really good thing to do really as i said to you before we don't we quite often they're in good serviceable condition um, and we can do repairs but but yours was just too far gone to make it an economical repair um rear anti-roll bar as well same thing um it was removed powder coated um one of the issues we did actually have not not hugely as well but part of the aluminium arm which makes up the end of the roll bar was quite badly um, badly seized um, so we replaced that good thing about 360 ownership is is nearly everything's available um, good good usable car to own really there we go yeah um, you can see you know you've already pointed out the wheels um, good thing about a high quality wheel refurbishment is you know the entire dish of the wheel gets the same finish um, and it's one of those many things that you know it really sets it off because you can see the depth of the wheel when it's all clean and fresh. Really stunning, as I say, it's really giving you like new car day feels. And there are only small things that have you know been changed, repaired, or upgraded with this car, but it is making that difference. And obviously, seeing it here under the light, these wheels are really part of it. But that, that tray for me makes such a huge difference having yeah, that new uh, under tray. It's, it's funny well, Super yeah. cool. So, uh, Amazing. You can actually start to see though, when we talk about paint, a lot of people are saying, oh, just get the car detailed, you don't have to go around paint. But you can really see in here now that the car's been sort of fully cleaned and washed, parts of the paint that really aren't looking in good shape, lots of road rash, especially around here, and different elements, which it does unfortunately just need that full body paint job, which is going to be one of the next jobs. Unfortunately, guys at UK don't have an in-house paint shop, so uh, it will be going somewhere else. More on that to come soon. but. Um, yeah, Paul, I'm, I'm loving the work that, that oh, has been done so far. Oh, yeah, it's really super, super happy. For us to do. Amazing. <laughs> oh, first time starting this car up in, well, quite a few weeks. Maybe we'll have to fire up into life. Good to have this car back and to close the window using one of the refurbished window buttons. Ah, oh, I know you all still think I'm mad, but these switches, these refurbished switches are just lovely. It's how I interact with the car. It's the things that I touch and feel every day. And they are now not only stunning to look at, but fantastic to touch. Oh, 
oh, I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. Now, lots of you actually picked up on this in the first video, and I kind of want to address it, because you were like, oh my God, Sam, basically four grand to replace or refurbish these buttons, you're insane. But I kind of wanted to break those costs down, because I don't think I did a very good job in that initial video. Uh, so just to clarify, all of the sticky switches and buttons and air vents and things like that have been refurbished, not replaced, refurbished. Now, a few of you suggested that I could have taken all these parts off and got some solution and a cotton bud and just slowly remove that kind of sticky top layer from the buttons. Now, funnily enough, DK Engineering used to offer that as a sort of service to people back in the day because this problem plagues so many Italian cars from this era. They used to take all the parts off, which is not a small job, we'll come back to that in a second, and then give a technician 18 hours, 18 hours to remove the sticky top layer. That's how long it takes or took back in the day. And these are pros that were doing it on a regular basis. I think if you and I were trying that, it would take even longer. Actually, I'd like to hear someone have a go and see how long it takes them. So now they actually use a third party supplier who strip them completely down and then repaint them or recoat them in basically the exact same way that Ferrari did back in 2002 for this particular car but with slightly more modern product but it's completely different to stripping the back where not only are you losing the actual original look and feel of all the gears you also can lose some of the wording so for example on the door handle here I've got the the lock button and it says lock if you strip away some of the sticky surfacing you lose some of that lettering too so it doesn't look right and actually if I was to ever enter this car into a Concorde competition the judges would pick up on that and say oh it's not factory finish this is complete factory finish it looks fantastic and as I say it should last for an exceptionally long time now if you're going well actually if you're going to those lengths out why not just replace the part well that's even more expensive so just under three grand for this refurbishment process if I went to Ferrari and I ordered all of the different little components that I refurbished it'd be just under six grand for the parts you then still got the high labor charges to remove and replace all of those parts on the car again so I mean that's just insane you're looking at probably ten grand to do all of that work so I have made a saving but of course it's still very expensive and maybe it's only going to make sense to me and there are lots of other companies out there doing it but trust me if you really look into doing what this company has those are the costs that's that's how much it costs it's a long intense process that takes a lot of time to do but for me sitting here right now it's so worth it it's just the feel as I keep saying oh Anyway, and also the door seal. Stepping in this car now feels very different to me. I said it in the workshop, it feels like new car day. I feel like I'm back in 2002 buying this car new, apart from the paint. I'm really now starting to pick up on the paint. I think the car has been cleaned so well for the first time that I'm like, oh, we're really in trouble here. So yes, that is the next step, full repaint. Now my plan is to stick with this color, Rosso, Corsa. There are a huge number of variations of Rosso Corsa, but DK Engineering, well, some of the guys were having a bit of a laugh and trying to motivate me to change the colour of this car. Go green, go purple, go blue, but I want the car to look and feel the same. You know, I've got such an attachment with this car. It's a red Ferrari. I've always dreamt of owning a red Ferrari, and yes, there are lots of other reds, like Rosso Froco and Rosso Fiorano and some like of that, but I think then it wouldn't feel like the same car, and I want it to feel like the same car. It's the best version of itself and next year for its big birthday its 20th birthday when I'm gonna do this sort of celebration tour it should be the way it left the factory not in a, another color so yeah it's just a full body respray it will look the same another thing which only I am probably gonna enjoy and you're gonna be like well you're mental and the two other things I mentioned right at the beginning audio system the speakers in this car aren't that bad but the head unit fairly awful and I can't really collect Bluetooth or an auxiliary input or anything like that. So I want to look into a sort of vintage sort of looking head unit. I know Blaupunk do them for Porsche, right? I don't know if that unit would fit in here. I don't want some really modern, you know, flip up screen thing that wouldn't look right. So need to investigate that. And then finally, I should have mentioned a few other interior sort of trim bits. Uh, my floor mats, the actual sort of, you know, buttons that hold them or little connectors come a bit loose. So these need to be sort of re-threaded, I think, just to hold the floor mats in place. And these harnesses, some of you often notice it they don't often hold tight for that long on longer journeys they start to come a bit loose so I think the harness is still at least these bits need to be refreshed and then we should be ready to rock and roll for next year's big 20th birthday 
of this car. So yeah, ah, oh, it's so good. Huge thanks to Duke Engineering for their amazing work. I said it in the last video, I was surprised by not only how competitively priced they are, but just how amazing they are working at these kind of cars. You go to DK and you think, oh, if I, if I don't have a 250 short wheelbase, maybe I shouldn't be here, but it's really not the case. Firstly, they are just car nerds and passionate about all kinds of cars, but especially Ferraris, and they're always working on a huge variety of Ferraris in the workshop today. There was a 456, a 348, uh, another 612 Scaglietti, of course, amongst your F50s and things like that. So this is such a cool place to go, uh, but yeah, just brilliant to have the car back. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you stay subscribed for plenty more 360 content to come.